Hey guys, what's up? Shin0585 here, back with another drawing video. Uh, this video we are going to be drawing Garnet from Steven Universe. So I guess, I, I know it was just normal Garnet. I know she has like a bunch of different forms, but just base form Garnet, which you see right here. And um, this video was um, requested by Empowered Up. Uh, it's all one word, so it's like I-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D-U-P, -E -E so Empowered Up. Thank you so much for the request. Um, man, not much else to say. So get your pencils ready and um, let's jump in. Alright guys, so let's jump into it. So Garn's not actually going to be too hard. Um, so what we're going to start out with is a nice light circle right here. We're just going to kind of like lay out the shapes um, just for our body. And she has a nice like circle, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get like a a square or like a rectangle like around her head like this. This is gonna be like her hair. So there's that, and then she's gonna have like a little bit of a neck here, and then her upper body is gonna be like another big circle like this, and she's gonna have another circle about here and one about here, and she's gonna get like a little um, cylinder for the body here, like that. And then for her legs, they're kind of, it's like this, it starts out with like this big oval right here. And then it goes into like an oval here and another oval right here. And you're going to get another oval about here and another one about here because she's sitting straight up. So they go, go straight down. And then we're going to get a little oval for the um, feet right here like that. And then her arm is just going to go over and here and her hand's going to be about here. This arm is going to go down and then over like this, and she's going to have a hand here like that. And that is pretty much all we need for the gesture for Garnet. So now we can jump into detail here, so I'll zoom in, and we'll start off with her head. Uh, now her head's not hard. Um, if you want to, you can draw the crosshairs. It'd be something like this. Um, but we're going to start about here and start with her head shape, and it's basically like this nice straight line going down, and it's going to have a nice kind of curve to it like this so you get like a nice long kind of L shape then it's going to go straight across here like this then it's going to curve down kind of dip in a little bit like that and now we can draw on her nose which her nose is just kind of like this little C shape right here like this like right under where this crosshairs is and then we can draw on her glasses which is just like a V going um, right here, and you get like another V. So you get kind of like a W, like that. And then we can start about here and just draw a nice little curve line, curving, like kind of getting parallel to this one. And then we can just draw two curve lines going down for her neck here, like that. And then for her lips, it's this straight line right here, right, like where her, like her mouth should be. And then um, we're going to get a nice curve line here, and another curve line right here for her lips. And then for her hair, it's pretty simple. Um, basically, it's, it's kind of this shape that we have here. It actually could go a little bit lower. So it's pretty much this shape. The only kind of difference is um, kind of in the middle here, you're just going to get a bump. So you get kind of like a curve line that goes up, kind of straightens out around here, kind of curves down again. And you get like a nice little bump again. And a straight line, kind of curves up. Get a nice little bump. Like that. And if you want to, you can kind of draw in um, like a kind of like a curve line right here, kind of hugging it. So this kind of shows like the side of her head. It gives it a little bit of depth. I guess if you want to, you can draw a little curve line in like this to kind of help reinforce that shape. So there's that. So that's pretty much it for her head. Very simple. Um, now we're going to draw in her um, shoulder pad here. And uh, again, it's very simple shape. It's just kind of like this curve line that goes out. And you get kind of like, almost like an egg shape. Um, something like this. Like that's pretty good. And now here we're going to get a curve line. And it's basically going to hug this kind of circle that we have here. Like this. The only difference is when you get to here, like when you get to like her stomach area. Uh, what's going to happen is it's going to curve in, so you just 
do a curve line going in, and then it curves up to here, like that. And we can draw in the detail here. Um, she basically has like stars. So to draw this star, it's a line going down from right here, and then it goes into like a triangle, and then it goes down, and then we're gonna get another shape that's parallel to this one, like that, and then just a straight line going across like this. So that's like our shirt detail, and then we can get the other uh, shoulder pad here, which is just kind of like this nice oval shape like that. Alright, and now that we have that done, we could kind of gesture in her body. Um, so she has kind of like this um, like really hourglassy type figure, so it's really big up here, really big right here, but like a kind of like a smaller waist. So you just draw a curve line, curving in like this, and another one curving in like that. And then this one goes out and in like this. So you kind of follow this oval that we have. And then when you get to uh, the knee here, it kind of dips in and then pops out and then goes down again like this. And it's all kind of like one shape too, so it might be a little, a little tricky, but you go pop out, go down. Now we're going to wrap around, go over and up like this. And we're going to curve it up. And then again, it's going to curve into the knee here like this. And it's going to curve up and over like that. We get another curve line here, right there, and now um, we're pretty much going to do the same thing just on this side. Uh, the only difference is, is when we get to the foot, so we're going to get like this nice curve line that goes down like this, um, then it pops out, and then this one kind of straightens out a little bit more, so this is a little bit more straight. And now here's the difference where you hit the foot, the foot just kind of goes out, kind of makes like this triangle wedge type shape. So you get like a shape like that, and it curves in a little bit where the ankle is, and then it goes out, kind of curves up to where the knee is right there, and then it pops out again, and just kind of goes into the center line right there. Actually, this is a little bit low, so I'm going to just fix that real quick. There we go. Again, another, another reason to draw light. Make sure you don't screw up. And then just for like a little bit of closed details, uh, you could draw a curve line here on the foot and another one here on the heel. And then same thing on this side, except you don't see the heel, you just see the curve line right there. And then um, just last detail, she has like kind of like a straight line going up here. It has a little bit of a curve because it follows her body, but a line going up right in the center there, like that. And now all we need to do is just draw on her hands. So uh, her hands aren't too bad. Um, I'll start off with this one because this one, eh, it's not even the hardest. But um, we'll start off right here. And basically, what we could do is draw in four circles like this. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and draw a curve line going up. Then it's going to curve over like this. So you get kind of like a little hook. Then it's going to go in and up. Then we're going to get another curve line right here like this. And another one kind of here, and then just another little one right there, like that. Actually kind of erase some of uh, the overlap so we get a clearer clearer image. Again, it's kind of um, hard to explain the shapes, but it's kind of like this long line that kind of goes and curves around, and these kind of like little nubs right here, like that for the rest of the fingers. And then this kind of curves into uh, the hand here, or the wrist, and then we can just draw on the the um, arm, so just curve up like here, and then it's basically like this kind of um, cylinder type shape, so you go up, kind of has a rounded part, you can kind of imagine like, it's like a 3D shape like that, like that, and then it's going to curve in this way, like that. It's nothing too complicated, nothing too crazy, and uh, we're pretty much going to do the same thing for this hand too. So it's going to go, it's going to start about here, and it's going to go down. I'm going to angle it down a little bit more, like this. So the hand will be about here. So we got like the hand's going to be roughly like this big, 
And um, we're going to have an oval for the thumb, and then the rest of the fingers are kind of just going to be over here like that. So we're going to start off with the thumb here, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this nice little curve line like this. And then it's going to curve up, over, kind of straighten out about here, and then kind of curve down. And the rest of the fingers are going to start about here, kind of curve up, over, kind of down like this. And the rest of the fingers just kind of go off this one, so curve line, going in, about here, and then a little pinky right about there. And it's going to curve out a little bit and kind of go into this shape like that. And then we could draw the um, gem on our hand, so it's just this nice oval right here. If you want to give it a little bit of depth, you can draw a little curved line on the edge here, show it like pops out a little bit. And if you really want to, you can draw a little curved line right here to show the fingers bending. But once you get that hand down, we could just draw another little cylinder like this. Another one going up here, and then this one you'd kind of see uh, it going into the shoulder pad here like that. So that's pretty much how you draw Garnet from Steven Universe. Again, not too hard. Uh, a pretty easy one, honestly. Um, a lot of the Steven Universe characters are actually pretty easy to draw because like, they're very um, they're very basic shapes-esque. There's not like a lot of complicated shapes to them. They're kind of like nice, solid, simple shapes. Um, so they're not too bad to draw. So, but um, that's Garnet. I will put the sketch that we just did right up here. Here is the more finished ink version. I'll move the camera so you can see both of them. So yeah, we have to the left over here is the um, more ink version, the like more final version. If you were to put take your sketch and like um, outline it with like an ink pen, so uh, so it's much cleaner. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Um, empowered up. For the request, um, I do take requests. If you guys have any, all you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I'll take your name, what you requested, put it on, uh, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. Um, there's no rhyme or reason. So, um, yeah, and if you have any Steven Universe requests, I actually drawn a few Steven Universe uh, characters, so um, check the playlist, because uh, I might have already done your request if you want me to do a Steven Universe character. Um, so other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.